Sandra Zebra. Yeah, I'm super excited. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's a lot like the horse that we've drawn. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen that one yet, you gotta check it out. What do we need for this lesson? Marker, paper, and some coloring. Marker, paper, something to color with. Yes. You ready to start? Yeah. Let's first draw our zebra's eye, and we're gonna draw it over here on the left side of our paper so that we have room for his body. We're gonna draw a circle. And then let's draw a smaller circle in the top right for the highlight. Yeah, you already got it. Then we're gonna color in the big circle and leave the little one white. Now let's draw our zebra's ear. We're gonna draw an A shape, comes up and then back down. And I drew it curved. Yeah, and down. Yeah. Then we can draw the inside of our zebra's ear like this. Draw a little curve that connects to the bottom. All right, now let's draw the head. We're gonna draw a straight Diagonal line that comes down. Then we're gonna draw a curve for the nose that comes around like this. And then right at the end, right here, we're gonna draw a little cheek line that comes, curves down and back up. Perfect. Now let's draw the back of the neck. We're gonna draw another curve that comes down like this for the neck. It's like a roller coaster. <laughs> now we could also draw the front of the neck. We're going to start right here and we're going to draw a curve that comes down and then curves and starts tucking in for the chest. Oh, I love your little neck. It's cute. Okay, now we can draw, we're going to draw the legs. Let's draw the front legs first. We're going to draw a line that comes down like this. And we're going to draw another line right next to it. And watch this. At the bottom, we're going to get wider. Oh my gosh, your zebra is gonna be so <laughs> cute. And then right here, let's curve and connect those two lines for the bottom of the lake. And we're drawing a cartoon cute version. Yes. Now let's draw the front, the other front leg. We're gonna draw another line that comes down and then curve and connect it back in. There's the two front legs. Now let's draw the belly. We're gonna imagine this line coming under and underneath the front legs and we're gonna curve it up like this. Yeah, and then let's draw the back leg. We're gonna start right here and we're gonna draw a little a little line. We don't go, wanna go all the way down. And then we're gonna draw another line that comes forward. Okay, now let's draw the back of our horse. We're gonna come back up here and we're gonna draw a line that comes out from the neck, curves around like this, and then stops right here. So we're gonna draw, we're gonna stop right about there. You could, and you could probably start up a little higher so that the body isn't too skinny. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I like it. <laughs> then let's draw the rest of the back leg. We're gonna draw another curve that comes down. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can connect the bottom by drawing another curve. Okay, she's got one more back leg. So let's just draw another line that matches the other one that we've already drawn. And then we can connect that one in also at the very bottom. All right, Hadley, now let's add the mane next. Let's draw, a, we're gonna draw a little line that comes out like this. And then we can draw a zigzag line that comes back. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep drawing a zigzag line that comes all the way back down to the bottom of her neck. Kind of looks like a mohawk. Yeah. I like it. Okay, and then we can also draw her other ear. I'm gonna draw another little A shape that's right here. Just so you can see her other ear. And you know what, right here in front, I'm gonna draw another little line like that. So you can kind of see her ear on the other side. <laughs> All right, that, that was a little tricky, but you could also just leave that part off if you want. Now let's draw the nostril. We'll draw a little C shape. And let's also draw the hooves down here at the bottom. Let's draw a curve on each of the legs and then also on the back legs too. What are we missing, Hadley? Her tail. Her tail. Let's draw a little curve that comes out. Out. And then let's draw another curve right underneath it that comes out also. And then right at the end, let's draw two curves that come down and back up to finish it. 
<laughs> I, I love her cute little zebra. All right, Hallie, we did it. We finished our little zebras. They don't look like zebras. What, are, what is she missing? The stripes. Yeah, the stripes. Now this part, we're gonna fast forward, but you guys can draw your stripes any way you want. You don't have to draw them like ours, right? Yes. All right, you ready to fast forward? Yeah. Sadly, we added our stripes and now it looks like a zebra. Mm -hmm. Did you have fun? Yes. You promise? Yes. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your zebras. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.